Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to Gord, how very good of you to join once more. We're looking at the simple life of my villagers right now, some fishing, some, well, harvesting of reeds over there. It is the second year now, the uh, spring, 19th April we are right now, and things are looking not so dire, right? So we are a colony already, so level 4. We're also level 4 in the sanity level that is calm right now, so we basically get a good amount of base sanity for all my villagers and we're having a level 4 faithful faith level that is with the shrines and stuff like that. We continue onwards with well some resource management because we're getting rather full on wood and reed which is great um, but we need more of that for the more advanced buildings. So what I would like to do is building us a storehouse increases the maximum amount of resources you may possess by I don't know how much. <laughs> it doesn't say that. So we could have it somewhere in my old gourd, but it's getting rather crowded in here. And we do have some space over there. So let's have the storehouse rather central here, because this is, of course, a well-protected area then, right? It's getting harder for my people, uh, for my enemies to get over there. So let's have the storehouse. Also, it might make sense to just have it beside the trade building, right? Um, where we do get that out. But nah, let's have it over there. We need to make sure that the entrance is looking right, and then we can build that jolly good house there. Over. Perfect. That's that. We have two kitties right now. One of them is building. Seems very adept. Apt, the Broslav, he's called. And he is... Oh, God. Why are they all so bad? Cutting experience is okay with him. But that's it. He's building at least, right? It's going to take him a while to get this cracking. And then we do get a bit more storage capabilities because the next buildings we will build require a lot of resources. And this is where the storehouse is coming into play. Now we do have two Lumberjacks. Um, workforce wise, it's a bit tough right now because we are having two permanent for warmongering now, so for fighting. And this is my group one. And I'm actually looking forward to get us a third one in. So one of my foragers could probably do the job. I think Trigua, wasn't he so bad with? He's got some good fighting experience points. So he's he's looking good in this area. So I would like to make him an axe wielder now too. Let's get him over there and make him an axe wielder. I think we do need some gold before we can do this. But let's just see. The fisherman is crazy, by the way. There is so much food coming in from the fisherman that I don't think I need to waste anyone for the mushrooms. There also doesn't seem to be any limit here. Oh, there it is, right? So we got at the moment 700 fish in this pond. It is though also regenerating over time again. It makes it a, a bit a bit simpler for me, right? But still, uh, this is a very good source of food there that we have, especially since it's also close to my to my fisherman. So it has take some time. Trick work, can you actually do this? No, we need gold first, right? Um, so let's have a look. I think he was the one, Savalt, for also some trading. Yep. Let's just wait for him to get the food back in. And then we are trading some... Yeah, we could actually trade food, in all honesty. Let's make him a trader there real quick. A trader? He wanted to go for some fishing again. How dare you? There you go. In again, and let's have a look. Because we can definitely trade some food for the first time. Perhaps food is worth a bit more. Oh no! We cannot trade for gold right now. There's no gold available on the market. Alright! This makes things even harder, it seems. We could trade other things, of course, like clay and stuff like that. But no gold anymore. There's my storehouse. Oh, this is not looking like the preview. <laughs> this is looking way worse. What is this? This doesn't survive a winter. I think we'll need to upgrade it rather soon. It is increasing my maximum storage right now to by 200, right? So we can store a few more thingies here. All right, Trigway, here you are actually my fighter. Problem is nothing we can do about that. So what we need to do is, after all, I need to work on the gold mine. There is no more fiddling around with that. It's a huge building, by the way. Ooh, let's see if we can squeeze it in like that that I still might have another building then over here. Let's build the one. All right, Leslav is losing his mind. Yeah, let's get him to the metery. Let's build the gold mine and one of them will have to work as a gold miner. Not Trigver though. Oh my, we don't have anyone that is good with mining. Leslav, yeah, he's going for the metery. And my 
hunting party. Let's get them over there. There's some boars that are attacking my clay miner from time to time. So we need to we need to clear some some animals over there. I think there's also some loot over here, right? Oh, there is a, a hut though. A witch's hut. Here we can heal mental afflictions. There is a bag. I think there's also a scroll of something. This one there. Oh, and some archer. It's just an archer, really, though. One. You can do this. There's some pile of goals. Great stuff. We need it. So we can train someone else in the arts of fighting. Alright, they're still building, right? Yep, but it's close to completion. There it is. Killed. Killed the bugger. What do we find? A spear warrior symbol. Uh, fighting experience gains. That's great. And there is also a scroll of exploration. Food exploration. Oh, good. That's not That's not okay. My goal is increasing. We are a fort now. We have leveled up once more. Let's have a look at the gold. Yeah, there's at least some gold. And that means Trickver... Yep, he can become a fighter now too, and that is an axe wielder. Let's get over there. Gold mining profession is unlocked with that. That's all nice and dandy, but we don't have anyone that could do the job for now. He's back to almost maximum sanity for the reed. Do I have anyone else here though? No. Nah, they're all rather busy, aren't they? Yeah. Trigver, my, my next soldier. Um, let's actually... There it is. Put him also to group one. So he can help out. So we got three fighters now. That hopefully should make a difference. Right. Let's get to your fellows, please. Ah, they're fighting already. Oh. That's a lot of boars. And they... Oh, this is the Blood Moon thingy. They have been enhanced by the Blood Moon. Right. Let's slaughter some of them. And there is the Yellow Herb. That will need for Sanity Increase. Even though Sanity is not a problem. Health Increase would be the better one. Alright. Killed them off. Some clay over there. I think there's more animals than here, right? Well, let's rather back up. Back off again. There is something here. So we definitely should use a bit more time on exploration. There's a bit of iron here. Over there is another monster, a medium gazer. So wait a second, is Oath a man or a female? No, a son. Alright, he's not a sister. Very good. Trick will leveled up. Ah, <laughs> that's right. And he got a wolf tooth necklace on top of that. 20% attack rate, that's pretty great. Scroll of experience for exploring, that's also okay. And Oath, your sanity is looking rather low. We do have some, some flowers over there, right? Some herbs we can use to increase sanity levels again. Alright, there seems to be something bigger over there too. Really excited to find all the things that we have in this forest here. There's sanity, there's sanity, and there's some sanity. Yeah, he's getting it all up again. Perfect. Let's get over there. We have also increased our population to 16 with the latest upgrade. That's something. And Dobroslav, he actually grew up, so you could become a forester since we need wood. Our brother was wounded by a foe. Oh. There is a snake thingy. And I think oh, health is rather low with my archer, so we need to be especially careful with the archer then. Space for our food. We need to build or upgrade oh, we are at maximum food levels there too. A coin purse. Oh, and some bigger uh, gators. Uh, 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 
More gators. Let's let's back off, right? Yeah, let's back off. Oh my goodness, there is it's getting the more the, even dangerous the more we move out. Someone was born? Another boy? We have a lot of boys coming up here. Yarlov. And he's a good fighter. That's something we always need. And that's it. He's going to be a good fighter one day. Alright, let's love you back to reading. And yeah, we are full on food. We don't need a forager right now. Um, mining experience. She's also good with Tegan with mining. So let's make her a gold miner. We need the gold now, finally. So he's up for that. And you can recover his sanity a bit there, please. I would love for them to automatically do this. Unfortunately, we have to do it ourselves. And yeah. My fighters come back home. Pretty much damaged. Uh, we probably will need to upgrade also my Bali here now. Let's do this. So that we can have a, a bunch of more people in it, right? We're also at 400, almost 500 food now. Horror awaits you. A horror ruling over its area has awakened. The horror challenge is enabled and it's down here where we do need to meet our horrors. We've this is interesting. And it's moving. I think the horror is moving now. We may avoid the horror. But it's demanding our obedience. Oh, this is cool. Let's let's just find out what the horror is. First of all, though, I would like to, to heal my soldiers. So we have upgraded the Balia. And now three people can actually squeeze into that over there. And they're, of course, all joining into the fun. Enjoying the day. Still going to take a while. All right. That's it, though. I don't have anyone I could train right now. Where's my gold miner? That is Tegan. And Tegan is where right now? Yeah, she's going to her death. You can't get the gold miner alone out there. There's too many dangers. We've run out of storage space for yeah, and we're really out of food, we uh, food capacity. Storehouse. Let's upgrade the storehouse, too. To have even more storage capabilities. Because holy cow, we're getting a lot of food. Which is great. So we'll definitely be able to survive the next winter there, I guess. A decision comes up. Our are Mysterious package. A merchant approached us offering extremely attractive prices for his goods. But on one condition. He wants us to take the mysterious package glowing in red. Ooh, that he carries. He claims not to know what it is inside, but he's so scared of it that he wouldn't even dare to just throw it away. But if you decide not to take it from him, he won't lower his prices. Yeah, there might be something useful. It's glowing red. Uh, we get one mysterious item, and there's a negative 75% price on one-time trading. What could we get with one-time trading, though? I don't think a lot, really. A bit of iron, perhaps, but that's it. So, no, I don't want to risk it. This really does sound too bad, and people can understand why you've decided to not risk taking an unknown object. After all, it could have been something cursed that would bring bad luck to our people. And we do get 25% Gord's sanity increase and a nugget of the underworld. Can we see this nugget? Oh, look at that. That was a huge fa uh, sanity boost to all my people. That's something there at least. Yeah, I think my party is almost up to max again. Let's get them out. Uh, we need to manually do this, unfortunately. The group selection doesn't work like that. Oh, it does, but they can only go out at uh, one by one. Alright. Let's get them to the... Do we discover the horror now? We still have a bit of time. Let's not do this for now. I would like to help my gold miner there a bit, right? So... Tegan, you go out and go for some mining again. And my fighters are going to join us. We can, yep, very good. We can actually escort her, right, and help her out if she gets attacked. So, <laughs> out they go. I mean, she's basically collecting the wages for the soldiers. And there's already the spiders coming up. Someone has harmed our sister. As we move out, lots of spiders. 
Awesome Wildfolk Warriors. Right, the others don't want to join. Yeah, there's a pile of gold. And there's also a coin purse. Oh, and even more animals. This is too much. There's a pretty hard or large bear, it seems. Nah, this is not going to work out. Holy cow, there's nothing I can do here. And yeah, we've lost one. What is this? Why are you not running? We may lose the next one. They're always abandoning their, their run, right? And we've lost one for good. The first death, Tegan. She was for the gold mining and she died bravely doing so. But this seems really harsh. I mean, I I, I don't know how, ma how many more soldiers I could have at this level. And there's no way I can fight them. Like, they literally just rushed through my axe wielder. He's still around there, right? But unfortunately, the monsters are now all around it. Doesn't seem like we will be able to take it down or re re revive him. Yeah, Trickver is still lying around here. We still have a bit of time, 28 seconds. Let's try it. I will have to risk it. And Ove unfortunately needs to go now to the metery because he's low on sanity. Ah, what is this? Come on, please, be able to recover him. Our from a and the next one has been killed. What is this? Next one dead? Our sister has drawn her last breath. But why was she killed? And a mental breakdown now too. I think we're actually falling apart right now. Ove has a mental breakdown, but he's not at, l at zero sanity yet. At least here we have revived one. Let's please get out here. Come on. What is this? He does not run away. Our brother has perished. Yeah, we lost the next one. He's dead for sure now. I cannot revive him. So we've lost two people, three people actually. And subject has fled. Ove. Ove is a broken mind and he's fleeing. He's fleeing. That's also gone. We've lost three people now. I think we are losing right now. <laughs> the horror continues to call for sacrifice. To be honest, I don't know what I could have done differently though, because we're just getting wrecked by the monsters out there. There's no chance that my fully equipped soldiers can actually make a difference there. They're just getting wrecked completely. Four people we've lost. Four. Not three. It's four. Let's back. Let's get all of them back into the gold there, though. Stop with the clay mining, I guess. I mean, not that we can do an anything there. Oath is gone. Vishimil is gone. And Trickva died now, too. There is no way I can save him. There's the bear. And the bear is immediately slaughtering my soldiers. And Trickva has been slain now, too. Yes. I don't know. All right. Another kid comes out though soon, and then we have at least 10 people again. We're pretty much full on the on the locks there now, so what I can do is I can start building up some defenses. We really should be doing that. A scorpion, that is. I think here we can squeeze it in. And we should be doing this. Ah, this is also really finicky. Let's build the ballistae over there. Yarloth, he's very experienced with the building already. By the way, the storehouse looks a bit better now with the upgrade. That's at least something. Yeah, food is not bad. My resources in general are not so bad. Um, that's one ballista. Our, Our scorpion. And let's build us another one somewhere over there, I guess. Right, we could also have it like this. So there's two of them. And here we could have another one too to protect this side of my gold. Right. And then we could probably build a third one over here. Somehow. Mm 
Alright, and ALZ, yeah, she's a good fighter, but even then, what does it give us? The monsters are so strong. That in all honesty, I don't see much of a difference here by how many soldiers we have. It's going to be interesting what the mo what the horror wants from us, right? 25 minutes. We need to meet it at least until then, so I will probably have to run over there. Aideen, you're also going for some drinking there, please. And here it is, also my first real defensive structure coming up. That is that is going to be pretty important against the attacking enemies. It's looking towards the horror, I think. Almost, yes. That will hopefully be fine if the horror starts attacking us. Whatever it is, I have no idea. Oh. There was some grumbling, I think. For a token of our worship. Our sisters are enjoying their quality of life. <laughs> the quality of life. Yes, well, in that case, we lost a few people, of course. The remaining ones have it a bit easier now. There it is. This is looking fine. It needs someone to work on it. This is crazy. Okay. We need a bit more clay because I would like to upgrade my palisades to... To withstand more. Yes, this doubles the hit points of the Palisades. This is really important. Let's have a trader there real quick. Yeah, the attacks intensify. Let's get into my gourd again. Look at that. They're going to attack in, in bigger forces now than ever. And they're going to breach it, of course. I don't think that I can do much here by equipping someone there, right? No. We need more gold if we want to keep our military units. Also a bit strange, really. They can only fire in one direction and that's it. Though so they are not really much of a use if they're attacking from somewhere else. So it's really a bit luck-based there if, if we have them in the right position. Alright, we are breached once more. So in that case, everybody is going to help to fight now. Let's just hope that we can fend them off. It's five of them. Crazy. Our brother is in danger. This is all escalating a bit quickly, so I don't know how we can really fight them. Our is being Ailis took a lot of damage already. Get her to the Bali. She's not going to uh, be much of a help there. Yalof, get out there. He does not want to get out. Alright, we fought them off. We haven't lost someone. Poo. Let's rebuild. Or repair and rebuild. And if I want to have a, uh, a scorpion here, is that possible actually? It's not possible. Because we do need space within the gourd as well, right? To build it, so... Upgrading the palisade is probably my best bet right now. We have fully rebuilt it. And now we can continue onwards with the, the working again. And then we continue onwards in the next episode, if at all. If we can survive this. I definitely want to find out what the horror is all about. Stay tuned!